Hi, Sophie Juliano here. So I did a segment with Laura Nativo on Doga, which is dog yoga. And I hope you get to see that. And if you haven't seen it, do definitely have a look at it. But I just wanted to teach you the poses, the three poses without the dog so that it's really easy for you to do. So the first one is chair pose. So you're gonna stand with your feet hip width apart. You're gonna inhale and it's as though you're sitting in a little chair behind you. It's kind of like a squat, but it's really, really good for strengthening your hips and your thighs. And then you're gonna come up. Do that about three or four times. And when you're with your dog, your little dog is gonna be there. And each time you come down, you're gonna come down and you're gonna just give your dog a little smooch or just a little sort of pet their neck. So then we go into our forward bend. And if you have tight hamstrings, you can bend your knees like this. Come all the way into a forward bend. And this is again where you have a good old cuddle with your little dog. Straighten your legs if you can. When you come up, bend the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Now, we're gonna come down to the floor and this is where it gets really fun with your dog. The first thing I'm gonna have you do is bring the soles of your feet together and make a diamond shape in between your legs. This pose is wonderful for your hips. It's a hip and low back opener. Your dog will be here, but you're gonna be inhaling exhaling coming all the way forward and then this is the smooch with your dog pose because you can have a lovely little smooch with your dog while you're doing all that great stuff on your hips finally the last pose is where we're going to open our legs as wide as they can go now if your hips are very very tight it's hard for you to sit on the floor elevate your hips up on a folded towel or even a cushion so that you're really comfortable and then you're going to place your dog if you're doing it with a dog just on the outside edge of your calf or your foot and then you're going to come over like so it's a beautiful side stretch like this and then if you can reach your dog tickle your little dog and come up and over to the other side that way you and your dog can bond and you get to open your tight 